Hello, nerds! Thank you for watching Generally Nerdy. This is your Week in Nerddom Movies edition for the week of July the 30th, 2018. Uh, the movies is actually not that big this week, so we're going to brush through it real quick. Joker, Star Wars, uh, uh, Teen Titans, things are going on, and intro. Quiet on the set, rolling. Hi, I am Bitsy Tellick. Hey, I'm Hale Appleman. I'm Walter Kane. I'm Rene Auberginois. Odo on Deep Space Nine. Michael Dorn, Lieutenant Commander of War, Star Trek The Next Generation. Uh, come and see me and hear me and talk to me and listen to me talk about myself. Hey man, this is Kevin Smith, often considered generally nerdy, and you are listening to what is often considered generally nerdy. On Generally Nerdy. You're listening to... Generally Nerdy. Generally Nerdy. Generally Nerdy. First bit of news for movies this week is Teen Titans Go to the Movies. Yeah, it's gotten universally hated by everyone and it's not even out yet. But we did learn this week that Stan Lee is going to have a voice cameo in the movie. Um, didn't Stan Lee do all the Marvel stuff? I like meta jokes. That's really, really funny. And apparently there is a... Stan Lee makes a joke about the fact that it's DC and... Yeah, so... I, this is going to be slapstick humor for little kids. Why all of the hate? I don't understand. But whatever. It's not my bag. I'm probably not going to watch it. Maybe once it comes to Netflix, I'll stream it. Or the DC Universe app, I'll stream it from there. Um, but I'm not going to hate on it. I'm just not going to see it. Our next bit of news is Joker. Another casting rumor. Uh, this time is Francis Conroy for the same uh, for the same role, the Joker's mother. Uh, this is this movie is supposed to be based on the Killing Joke. Where does the Joker's mother factor into that? I don't know. Maybe it's a small role and it's part of the One Bad Day uh, th theme that goes throughout that book. Um, so maybe his mother just treats him horribly on that one bad day that he turns into the Joker. Who knows? Uh, very interesting, though. They're going for some pretty high-profile actresses to play the Joker's mother, which makes sense. So, um, And then also, uh, De Robert De Niro is in talks to be a secondary character, or possibly even a tertiary character. He's, he's like a news anchor that has something to do with the storyline, too. Um which makes sense because Scorsese's producing it, right? So De Niro's one of Scorsese's boys. He's going to put him in a movie. And so it'll be Robert De Niro's going to be in a comic book movie, potentially, potentially. Uh, but yeah, that's all we got for Joker. Next, we are moving over to Star Wars Episode 9. Yes, all of the one, the one that all of the fanboys love to hate already and it's not even a thing yet. Uh, we got a full press release that gives us the cast announcement uh, so I, you can check the description, all of the, the entire, I just copy pasted the press release. It is in the description in its entirety, not going to read it in its entirety, but very interesting things to note. Uh, they are in fact using Carrie Fisher footage from previous movies. They were waffling on that because we've reported that yes, they were planning on it and then no, they weren't planning on it. Now it is officially a thing. They are going to be using Leia footage from the past two movies, specifically from episode seven. So interesting that they decided to, they actually decided to go do that and not kill Leia off screen or even potentially they don't have to kill her at all. Uh, Mark Hamill is coming back. So I told you so. <laughs> he's not dead. Luke Skywalker is not dead. He's become one with the Force. He's going to come back as a Force ghost. Or maybe they're going to find some way to bring him back physically. It's Star Wars. They can really do whatever they want. So there's that. Uh, but yeah, we already talked about um, uh, Billy D. Williams is coming back to play Lando. We already knew that. That's not news. But uh, Fisher and Hamill are definitely news. For the rest of that press release, you can check it out down in the description. And then our last bit of news has to do, there's a meta piece to it, and then there's two Marvel movies attached to it as well. The Marvel movie side is Dark Phoenix and New Mutants are not being canceled. There was a nasty rumor uh, last week that was going around the internet that says 
that because the Fox Disney merger is happening, Disney is completely axing New Mutants and Dark Phoenix. They can't do that. And here's why. Because the merger has not finished. It is not complete. Yes, the largest hurdle for the for the merger has been accomplished in that the they've gotten past the uh, the legality side of things in the U.S. We they also have the shareholders decision. So those are the two biggest hurdles. Now, because those are international companies, there is also international laws to deal with and international shareholders to deal with. Those will likely fall in line with what has already happened. There is still the off chance that one of them doesn't officially approve it, so th it'll have to work through that. But assuming everything goes as they want it to, which there's no reason to assume otherwise, it still won't be done until later next year. It will not be 100% complete. Therefore, Disney does not have the power to shut down either of those movies because they don't own them until the end of next year ish and both of those movies will be out in the first half of next year so it, it, there's no no reason to fret nerds everything will be fine now any sequels to those potentially could be squashed like the second half of darth dark phoenix if dark if this dark phoenix doesn't go well maybe then disney will squash it but Again, they can't do that until they 100% own the company, and they won't 100% own the company until both of these movies are already out. And that is where we're ending this week's movies episode, guys. What did I miss? What should we talk about next week? Let me know in the comments down low. If, though, you want to go deeper in the conversation, jump over to the website, generallynerdy.net. That is the place to get all of the freebies and links and things. Go check out generallynerdy.net. You can also find the link down in the description to the website and to the patreon patreon.com slash nerdy go there if you want to support the channel a dollar a month really goes a long way and i am effectively doubling your content for that one dollar a month i'm working working on all kinds of extra content for you guys so check it out patreon.com slash nerdy if you're new to the channel click that subscribe button if you like this episode click the like button if you are falling behind in your nerd news and you want to catch up Click or tap that box right there to the left of my face to do that. But before we go, guys, always, always remember that if it is generally nerdy, it's probably here. <laughs>